Mr. Lloyd Hazelon. Oh, Lieutenant, I should say. Hi, I'm Omar from the Volunteers Assisting Veterans. I'm, I'm here to assist you with anything that you need. Omar? Nice to meet you, Omar. You too. Would you be so kind as to tidy things up a little bit here? I, it's hard for me to, to get down low these days. Yeah, yeah, of course. Anything that you need, sir. Okay, the, uh, the garbage bags are in the kitchen. Okay. All right, thank you. The bonds we formed in the heat of the desert were stronger than family. It was a matter of survival. Either you learn to live as a unit, or death would be your only companion. I was beside my closest brother, Caleb. He was driving the Humvee as we surveyed the village. Normally, as uneventful as a cruise through the countryside, that would be the last time I felt whole. In a moment, we were struck by an IED. My ears were ringing. It was powerful, tearing right through the armor, right underneath where Caleb sat. My brother, gone. Stop it! Stop it! Sir, sir, I'm Stop. so sorry, sir. Please let me... Stop it! Sir, I... Don't touch it! You tear us! You killed my brother! You killed my family! Somebody... You tear us! You remember? Please, calm down, sir. Please calm down. Oh, get out of here! Go! Get the hell out of here! Wait! Wait! Wait, I'm sorry! Wait! Would you like anything else? Oh, no, no, thank you. It's gonna be okay, Habibi. Salam. Salam, what does that mean? It means peace. Omar, no one is saying you deserve to have a gun thrown in your face. But at the same time, you probably shouldn't have been singing in Arabic. It was Urdu. Close enough. How are you so sure it was the singing that caused the episode? You know we're supposed to avoid any triggers for cases of extreme PTSD. I can't clean without singing a tune. Okay, next time, try Old McDonald or something. It's not Omar's fault, Brian. I know, Leah, I know that. It, look, you're new. I know it's not your first assignment, but some of these are just going to be easier than others. Someone like Lloyd, it, it's difficult for him to see past the battlefield. Honestly, we should have just never assigned this case to you. Wait, what do you mean? This is obviously the wrong pairing, given the circumstances. Are we supposed to let people just sit in their own prejudice? Okay, we can clean their homes, buy them groceries, keep them company, whatever. We're not counselors. We can't fix the way that they see the world. They have to do that for themselves. That doesn't mean Omar should stop trying. He wants to give them hope. This isn't about hope. This is about safety. Omar, I for one think you're very brave. But I do agree safety is a concern. Maybe we should set you up with someone less volatile. What do you think? We are taught to hate each other. Only because it makes it easier to pull the trigger. If only we were wise enough to leave our hate on the battlefield. But the truth is, the battles we face are one and the same. We should have never been there in the first place. Now it's become so difficult to love one another when really, love is what leads to true victory. Hatred is a war that never ends. Who said that? First Lieutenant Lloyd Tantalon. I guess this is his novel or something. Let me see. It's not your fault. War is never fair. I should have died with you and the rest of the unit. I've lost the book, 
<laughs> no, I've lost everything. That, that is all my fault. You have to make peace. Taking time, taking time that wasn't mine. The way that I saw it, it was only fair. Time has come to rest, and I think I'm done at last. 